I just installed the Gorilla Lift uh, lift gate assist. I wanted to show you a couple things and give you some warnings and hints about installing it if you decide to do this yourself. The instructions say that you should place the lift a quarter inch from the ends. As you can see, I, I got it close to a quarter of an inch, but I have a weld here, so I stepped it back off the weld. The problem is if you go too far up the side of the rail and not towards the back, then you'll end up with the uh, with the wire hitting um, that uh, release mechanism there. The problem I encountered is that the bolt to hold this front rail down is right at my fender. I barely had space to put a nut on it and tighten it from the top, so I could not use the supplied nut because it was too long for me to slip down through the hole and get through past the fender so I used a shorter bolt and slid it through held the nut against the bottom and then threaded the screw into the nut that's all the space I had now let me show you the other side I didn't have that problem on the other side because I did something different I stepped this all the way back to the very end to avoid that problem and that allowed me to put this nut or screw into the fender well so you can see it's inside the fender so this treader was just dimensionally slightly different from one side to the other so I could slide this back about half an inch and get the screw into the fender I think on the other side that half an inch would have put it into the fender well and and caused me to hit the fender there just wasn't quite enough space so this is a salvation trailer made in Waco I understand and because the trailer is made to allow the gate to fold down into the trailer I used these pins so that I can pull a cotter pin pull the pin and that way nothing will be protruding here it will allow the gate to fall down into the trailer when I want to fold it down because these gates are like sails going down the road so that's my solution to still being able to to uh, close the gate down into the trailer when I'm not using it so these are loose I've tried it a few times I think it's fine if I find that this isn't uh, staying uh, out like it should, which I think it will, but if it doesn't, I can always put a piece of uh, hose on there and then slide that uh, the, the hose, the ring over the hose and it will stay in place. But I, um, I, I think it's fine the way it is. And uh, the instructions for the grill lift say to be sure and put the labels on the outside which I did, but I've also found that, uh, you know, these darn things just peel right off. So if you don't want to advertise or provide free advertising, you can just put a thumbnail on it and pull them right off. There you go. No more free advertising. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to tell you the size of the pen that I used. So there it is. I bought it at Tractor Supply. It says it's a 3 8 inch by 4 and a quarter inch hitch pin.